Hey everyone, welcome back to another video here. We got uh, the next batch here from that uh, new lot I was starting to open, as well as a few more handmade ones by me. Uh, so, uh, without further ado, we may as well get started. First we have this um, glass pendant here. Kind of got that foil look underneath it um, on a silver plated chain there. And then next up we have these uh, 80s style earrings in that gold tone with the uh, maroon or burgundy colored uh, enamel on there. And then we have this uh, necklace here that um, I put together from an earring. And then a pair of these bracelets here. They're both plastic um, beads here, but uh, they're still actually very pretty. Um, there's the green and there's the blue with the gold beads in between. And then there's these two bangles here. Um, both brand new in this lot here. And then there's this long layered necklace here um, has kind of these little embellishments all along it with the little rhinestones and then some more 80s style earrings here with the pink enamel on them and they are silver on the back and then we have this one here with this uh, Looks like hand carved plastic bead there. It's probably not hand carved, just made to look that way. Um, and then there's this, it feels like a type of stone here. I'm not sure what type of stone that is, but uh, certainly can look that up. And then there's this really long one here. It looks like it's got a shoelace in between the uh, stainless steel. Um, not my style of uh, necklace there, but um, I'm sure somebody will like that. And then there's these little woven gold tone earrings here and the little studs. And some more that are very 80s um, in a gold tone with the green enamel on them. And then there's this little adjustable ring here with the faux pink pearl in there and a little bonus hair. And the rhinestones around that faux pearl. And then there's these little 80s earrings here as well with the orange enamel and the gold tone. There's lots of uh, earrings in this one. They actually, most of them have mates, which has been kind of nice, uh, as I'm used to them not having mates. Uh, and then there's these uh, silver tone drop dangle earrings there. And some more 80s fashion. There is these in this... Um, orangey red, that burnt orange. There's also a white pair of these somewhere. I think they're they're somewhere in my pile over there. But uh, yeah, so there's a white in that. And then we had these little silver tone hearts and uh, rhinestone. And then a little rice pearl bracelet here. And then we have this Noah's Ark theme bracelet here as well, and that feels like pewter. And then there's this um, long ring that takes up most of the finger. And then a couple of silver tone and gold tone 
stud earrings there as well. Um, and I believe these were, yes, these were branded by uh, AK, Anne Klein, I believe that's Anne Klein. Um, and then there's these with the little tiger's eye on them. Very pretty little studs. And then here's one that I again handmade. A drop pendant on a um, gold plated chain. Another one I made on a gold plated chain there with the agates and the, and the amethyst as well as a garnet stone up top there. And then this uh, looks like something from the uh, Red Hatters group. And then there is this layered necklace here as well. Um, and that one was brand. Yeah, that's a loft one. And then there's these Christmas earrings. As well, this rhinestone owl bracelet. Owls are always very popular. I see a lot of that. Same with butterflies. Um, here's another one that I uh, put together here. And again, another one that I put together. And this is actually um, was a Swarovski earring that was only one of them. So I did turn that into a pendant. And then this one here was missing a all but one little pearl. So I altered it and put in these green or green, these blue rhinestones. I made it look like blue sapphire on this um, enameled flower pin. So I'll list that as an altered piece. And then there's this little pin here as well in a bronze tone uh, made in Taiwan. It's the only information on it, so I don't know what brand that is or anything. And then there is this necklace here with these big plastic beads. And we have this one with a it's it's got a variety of these charms so there's like there's peace and then there's the catholic um archangel one there and then we have um the southwestern style heart as well as the key which usually represents key to my heart and then there is the jewish star so i'm not sure how all those things melt together into one bracelet but um apparently somebody thought they did And then there's these little lever back earrings here. And these are a Southwestern style heart earring as well. And then a couple more 80s style earrings here. I'm going to show them both at the same time because they're the exact same thing. This one is peach and one is a screen and then we made this one from a, another single earring there on that peacock with the hearts I actually really love that earring I was hoping I would find the mate to it and then there's this little nice gold tone stud and then we have these little earrings here and I believe I have a single green one of this too that um, has not shown up so hopefully it will and then we have these woven stainless steel 
stud earrings here. And then this, I'm not sure what type of stone this is, but it, it's kind of got that butterscotch look to it. Um, so I connected, uh, there was this earring here, and then there was a couple of these little things I had. I actually have lots of them. And then this little rhinestone bottom here. So I put them all together to form a one drop pendant. And then there is the, these two earrings here as well that I connected together to make a drop pendant. Kind of got that 80s look to it again. And then this one here um, looked brand new. And it's got these large, what I believe to be um, either quartz or agate. I'm not sure. 100%. This um, little swirling in it makes me think of agate. Um, and then these little thread beads and wood beads. And it uh, looks brand new. Um, and then there was a, another ring. There we go. Just a couple of earrings here um, and a stud with that um, cream colored enamel. And then I made this little anklet here um, with this silver tone one there. And that was branded. Um, oh, that was an Avon one, so it's probably silver plated more than anything, but um, yeah, it didn't have the meat to that earring, so I turned it into an anklet. And then there's this one I put together again on a silver tone chain. I thought I saw a brand on that chain actually, even though I Put this together myself. No, I'm mistaken. There's no brand on there. Uh, and then we have this big necklace here. All seed bead, and including these larger ball beads up here, are also seed bead. So tons of work went into making that. Not my style of collar necklace, but um, very heavy and would have taken a lot of work to make that. And then I put together this one here as well. With this little grape style earring with the faux pearls on it. And let's grab a few. So there's a faux pearl bracelet. See these things all the time. I'll probably try and sell it, but if it doesn't sell pretty quick, then uh, it'll end up in a lot. Just because I get tons of those. And then this is a Bill Elliott pin. Um, and it was dated 2001, I believe it was. Yes, it was. Um, so that'll be a collector's pin. I will end up trying to sell that. Um, and then my daughter has laid claim to this tiara because she claims she does not have a tiara, which she doesn't. But I guess um, my daughter gets what she wants. And then there is this little plastic ball bead choker as well. And then there's this brand new bracelet, the plastic uh, butterscotch or caramel panels on there with the uh, La Fina. Now I'm not familiar with that brand, but uh, brand new, so that's kind of nice. There's lots of brand new stuff in this lot, I'm very impressed. Um, and then here's this one here that looks handmade. You got, um, you got your glass beads, you've got stones, um, you got this porcelain bead here as well. couple more pairs of brand new earrings. As well, another brand new necklace here with that uh, cloth beads and a brand new bracelet. There's this little bracelet. I've seen this style of it, um, before a few times in these lots. A symbol on the end here. I don't know if that is a brand symbol or if that's just something that they thought was a cool design. Uh, that I'm not sure. Um, and then there's these little um, 
ethnic style earrings here. And then this green abalone shell necklace. And then here's one I made as well um, using, this was an earring before. Um, that would be a very, very heavy earring. Um, but it was pewter, or it's pewter with this little glass bead inside there on a silver tone chain. I have no idea what these things are supposed to be. They look like creepy little bears, but um, makes for an interesting pendant. And then there's this little faux pearl um, bib style necklace here. And a pair of uh, brand new earrings. Um, Distributed by Simplicity Creative. Not familiar with them, but brand new. And then there's another watch. And this one is by SV, which is can't really read it very well. Um, what does the back say? Sergio Valence. Sergio Valence. Yeah, and by the way, I, that one shark watch I had from the last one, that one sold within less than 24 hours of my posting it. And I have these little plastic stud earrings here and here is the enamel version or the white enamel version of those burnt orange ones i showed you before and then here's just a little leather bracelet um, looks brand new again um, and that had a brand on it ex it says on the back so i'm not sure what that's supposed to be um, and then here's another one that I had made with this little cross. It's a plastic cross on a silver tone chain. And some branded Marvella earrings. As well as a brand new Nickel Free Croft and Barrow abalone shell set. So there is the earrings as well as the pendant. Very, very pretty those ones. And they were selling, I think originally, yeah, they were like 20 bucks American originally for that set. So I'll be able to ask around that. And then this one here, my mother-in-law really liked. Um, so genuine porcelain on a gold tone chain. Um, I didn't, don't recall seeing a brand on them, but they're uh, new in box. And then we have this bracelet here with the DI and some glasses and then this little agate stone on it. And then we have this one, a little choker necklace. And another one that I made, and this one's kind of dual-sided, so you've got that side there. Or you can use the white enamel side. And then there's fashion jewelry, um, another brand new piece here. This little angel. And another one that I handmade here, with this uh, gold tone leaf pendant on there with a gold tone chain. Another one that I made, this one's got uh, just a very simple pendant on it. And then another brand new one by Erica Leons. 
And uh, this one was on sale originally for $40 American. So, um, some nice plastic beads on there. And that's not cold to the touch, and that's plastic. That's still very pretty. That'll be brand new. So this one is by 31. It's just a small rosette clip, um, kind of flattened, but um, hair clip or pin, it looks like it can be either one. But again, brand new. And then there's this one here with these uh, rubber ball ones here. I suspect that that was probably a teething necklace, but it does look brand new. And there's this in a silver tone, and this is branded by LC. Oh, I'm trying to remember, I had a few LCs in the last lot I had. I can't remember what brand that was. I think it was Lauren somebody, Lauren Conrad or something like that. Um, but very pretty necklace here. And then a couple more brand new ones. Fashion earrings. So big earrings. And then there is this necklace here as well. And then we have this necklace, kind of this um, frosted glass, which is kind of different. Usually I see these things with like those plastic ones, but no, the frosted glass is a little different. And that's what I was talking about right here with those plastic bead ones. Um, and that kind of bib style necklace. I can never get them to sit straight, straight off the bat. I believe this was, yeah, New York and Co. You should tell they have their distinctive shape for their stuff. Them and um, Avenue use basically the same, except Avenue usually has more of a aluminum look to it. A couple more. New earrings. Um, and those are rhinestones. And then there is this gaudy necklace here. All these little plastic clusters. Um, it's fairly long as well, so it just kind of dangles down. This one here, these plastic beads on here as well. And then a rhinestone bangle. Um, and it does have one purple one. So that must be kind of like that little accent. Um, and then there's this little simple seed bead bracelet here as well. And then a very pretty watch. And it's kind of that gold tone, open works, clamper style watch. Um, and that one is Acumite Watch Corp. I'm not, not familiar with them. Um, and the designer is Kim, Kim Rogers is the designer. Nice watch, a few scratches on the back, but other than that, it's in excellent condition. Um, another seed bead bracelet with some more bonus hair. Um, and this one was actually branded, I think it was that, um, I've seen this brand before. Puro, yeah, Pura Vida bracelets. Yeah, we've seen that before. Um, and then there's this purple large plastic bead and all these beads have this little gold fleck look to it. And then there's this um, 
souvenir necklace here with the wood beads. Um, I think that's coconut. And a uh, shark tooth here. And then we have this one in kind of that southwestern style. And then some silver tone earrings. I don't believe they're branded. No, they're not. But clip ons. And then there's this pin here with the birthstone ruby on it. Again, that was another new one. And then here is a, these are rubber or, no, they're just a very soft wood. Um, and then all these little plastic beads on it, very colorful. And then we have this faux pearl necklace as well, and this one's very pretty in that kind of that bib style. And then we have this turquoise strand necklace, um, kind of that Asian writing on it, um, but loads of turquoise on that one. And they sound like real turquoise, and they feel like it too, actually. Um, Another almost a Cleopatra look on that necklace. And then we have this one, which is just kind of a woven small wire necklace there. And then there's this one, which has that little um I'm not even sure what type of... I should know that. It's slipping my mind there. Um, but, uh, yeah, interesting pendant on this um, fine gold-plated chain. And this anklet was kind of cool, too. This would be very pretty on. I believe this was... Is it icing got a couple of icing bracelets in this one in this lot and then here's kind of that um, Native American style um, bib necklace very large large pendant on that one um, in terms of all the drop down there but that's very very pretty I love a lot of that Native American style it's they do some very, very, have some very, very pretty stuff there. And it goes to my heritage a little bit because I actually am part native. Um, and then this one, I believe. Oh, no, this just, eh, it looks like it's, it looks like they're trying to be um, Charming Charlie, but still a very nice nautical theme brace or um, watch. And then a couple more earrings here in that Native American style. And then we have that with the plastic, meant to look like amber. And then a couple rubber ball earrings. Um, looks like the same material as that other necklace I had before, actually. And a couple stud earrings. We have these Christmas tree ones. And then we just have these little silver tone rhinestone dangle. Like I said, loads of earrings in the slot. And then there's that souvenir necklace there as well. The shells. And then a faux turquoise. And then 
there's a little bracelet there as well. This one looks handmade. A couple more earrings. These ones are really pretty. And then here's some uh, more 80s style with the enamel. I don't believe those were branded. No, they weren't. Oh, so much bonus hair in this lot though. Um, and then there's this little seed bead Native American style stretch bracelet as well. And then we have this adjustable ring here. And that kind of that woven style with the plastic accent on there. And uh, even the band is got this has this floral intricate pattern on it. Very pretty ring. And then there's this one here, a wide variety of glass and plastic stone or um, beads and a couple little stones, including a cat's eye, a few cat's eye there in the yellow. A few more new ones here. So we've got this, um, I'm not familiar with this brand. Um, apparently they sell a Coles though. And then here's some silver strike earrings and some Easter earrings. Those aren't really, I don't know, just made in Taiwan and ROC, the brand is ROC, kind of that holiday theme. Okay, and then we have this necklace here, um, and this actually is wood. That's got that gloss to it. And then we have this one. This will be the last one for this video here in this long bib style necklace. So, um, yeah, thanks for tuning in, guys.